Everyone is so excited, hoping that James Harden will become a Brooklyn Net. They're losing their mind, don't know what to do with themselves. But there's one person in the bunch that's saying, oh, wait a minute. That, that's not going to go down. Yeah, there, there's one main ingredient. There, there's one main ingredient to make this all sound legit. And do any of y'all know what that main ingredient is? Please tell me if you do. Let's get into it right after the jump. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Do you think Kyrie Irving did all of that talking and acting crazy and just cutting cutting players up, cutting teammates down, making folks feel any old kind of way to get, you know, to ask to get removed, get, ask to get traded from Cleveland, to go to Boston, and then go leave Boston, and then go to uh, Brooklyn for... James Harden to come in here and break this up? Heck no. Y'all know daggone well that's not going to happen. And he got his best friend playing side by side with him right now. Guys, y'all know that's not going to happen. Kyrie mindset was set on, Kyrie mind was set on playing with Kevin Durant and keeping that, keeping the talent around him with a couple of sprinkles here and there of bringing in new guys to help them get over the top to possibly win, the cha possibly win a, a championship for the Brooklyn Nets. One thing Kyrie didn't take into consideration is the fact that Kevin Durant and James Harden, they enjoy playing ball with one another. They have the same type of philosophy. Yes, Kyrie has that same philosophy as well, but but Kyrie can get in his own way sometimes and want to hold on to that ball a little bit longer than what it needs to. And not to mention, Kevin Durant is coming from a system in Golden State where it was free-flowing ball. The ball was always moving around where you had guys taking shots, putting that ball in the basket, and they were just running the score up on folks having a good time. But guys, if you don't, if you didn't know, you if, if you didn't know, Kyrie, one thing, like I said, Kyrie's not hearing this garbage, guys. Y'all might as well wake up to the fact and let it be known. If you didn't hear Kyrie come out in the beginning and say he signed off on this, on you know daggone well he went, it wasn't going down like that. But I'm willing, to, I'm willing to bet you this. When things get a little tight during the season this year with the Brooklyn Nets, why Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are out there on that floor together, I want to mark my words when I tell you, you're going to see Kyrie spaz out on Dag on Kevin Durant, just like he's done everybody else. The only thing I hope is that these two don't get to arguing with one another and words get said to one another to where, you know, you got people shutting down and they just don't want to be bothered no more and be, you know, no longer want to be a part of the system. But guys, you got, like I said, I got to be honest with you, seeing, seeing James Harden play with uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie, I think that kind of would be a good thing because, you know, like I said, it will open up the floor and you really got to guard. You got to guard every man out there on the floor to see what's going on. But the only problem is you're giving up a lot of young talent for uh, uh, James Harden to come to the Brooklyn Nets. And the crazy thing about it is you already know Houston, Houston ain't going to give uh, James Harden away for a bag of chips and a Yoo-Hoo. Somebody going to have to go. And that somebody just might be Kyrie Irving. Y'all stay tuned, guys. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and leave.